one of nature's most perfectly evolved human blood sucking machines. And if a couple of these get into your home, you're gonna know all about it. I'm not taking any chances with this one, but I do want to find out all about them. And there's no one better to ask than Dr. James Logan. He spends his days trying to work out how to combat the growing bed bug problem, and his lab is host to thousands of the little critters. And James knows all too well what it's like when the bed bugs bite. So, what does a bite feel like? Well, I'm going to show you what a bite feels like because I'm going to get one of these bed bugs out and actually stick it on my arm. And when it starts to feed, I'll lift off the pot so you can get a closer look. Um, so hopefully... Oh, God, there it goes. So there we go. I can't believe its luck. So it's having a little bit of a wander around there. Oh, so it's gone go, for oh, it. That sounds... How, how, how do you know what... Can you feel it? Um, I can't feel a thing. It's gone really still. Can't feel a thing. OK. Now, I felt... Very, very slight nip there. <laughs> Did it just so go in for the kill? It's gone in. It's gone in. Am I actually going to see his little body fill up with your... Oh, my God, yeah, it is sucking. It. Look at it. Look at it. Can it's going like it? this. It was moving as it was feeding. So bed bugs have piercing mouth parts. It's almost like a, a sort of needle, and they inject that into your skin to find a blood capillary. OK. And then they start feeding from the blood. When you've got bed bugs, you know you've got them, basically, because, you know, your, your arm will come up with a, a big, red, itchy lump. And what your immune system is doing is reacting to the chemicals that are injected into your body uh, in their saliva. And it contains a cocktail of chemicals that basically act as an anticoagulant yeah. uh, and also an anaesthetic as well. So, basically, you can't feel... So, I can't actually feel this thing feeding on me at the minute. So, as it's biting, the anticoagulant stops your blood from clotting, so it can get a nice, clear stream of That's exactly nice, right. liquid blood. Yep. Yep. That's ridiculous. So can now, you see how long it's... would it feed for? Um, it should take a couple of minutes, probably, for it to feed, but you can already see that its body's starting it's to changing. swell up. Now, God forbid, this one escapes. Do we have a, a situation here? Uh, we will have a situation, because this one is probably mated, and she's just had blood, which means she'll produce viable eggs. Whoa. And, uh, yeah, she'll you know, lay her eggs, they'll hatch out, and they'll just start reproducing. You know, they'll lay about three eggs in a day, uh, and probably about 300 eggs in their, in their lifetime. Now, how easy is it for this bed bug, should she escape, you know, to make it to my home, for example. Well, these guys are tremendous hitchhikers, so they could cling onto your clothing and, and leave with you and get into your home. So this is why, when I hear about, you know, because there are more international travellers, we're getting more bed bugs in this country. That's the reason why they're getting into people's suitcases. Absolutely, that's the way they're, they're being transported around around the country and around, you know, the world, really. Um, the other reason is that there's been a bit of an increase in secondhand furniture sale as well, and uh, you know they lay their eggs on the furniture, and the bed bugs themselves can even be transported as well. Oh, oh she's, she's done. Finished. She's finished. Okay. She. Okay. Whoa, she's moving. <laughs> All right. We'll get ready to trap her. Can you see? She Poo! just. She just pooed. She, just, she did. That's yeah. so rude. Oh. oh. Not only does she feed off you, and then she leaves a little calling card. She does, but she, can you see she's struggling to walk? She's she's she's, she's so, so full. fat. I know she's tiny, but she looks so stuffed. Like <laughs> you, can, you can tell she's just like, oh she man, I, I ate too much. <laughs> They defecate, as you saw on my arm, they do that in their refuge, yeah. and that's the smell that they use to get back home, basically. Bed bugs do love a good square meal. In fact, they can drink three times their own volume in one bite. 